This is concerning our value research stock advisor service. That why does a stock exit your our best buy list? For example, there was a real estate stock added to the best buy list in March, and now exited the scene. Also, there were some there were some really good companies in the last two wealth insight issues. Why are they not in the recommendation list? Is it because they are overvalued? <coughs> okay, uh, two two important question. Why does a company exit our best buy list? Uh, every Friday we all sit together, and off late, you know, we have been on our Google Meet, and uh, all our equity analysts and me sit, sit together and debate intensely about all the companies that are there. So you would have seen that recently we have put a couple of, and the decision that we take is that we formulate our view on each company. Uh, we brainstorm, we debate, we talk about those companies. Uh, there are people who are for a decision, there are people who are against the decision. And then we take a measured uh, call. We are not working towards consensus. Uh, but uh, definitely, you know, uh, best buy list is a list of companies. Uh, which from our selection, which, which, is, which looks like most attractively priced and uh, without any near-term concern from our recommendations. So Stock Advisor has about 40 recommendations approximately. And uh, we don't want the best buy list to exceed anywhere between you know, 12 to 15. We, I, I personally don't want this list, list to get longer. There is a possibility that there could be many other companies, you know, which can justify being there. But we debate hard hard, and come up with, this, uh, with our list. Then comes, you know, if they, so the part of the selection is also that, you know, we, have, we review all that is there, uh, uh, should it be there. And the real estate company, the company that we're referring to, uh, it, is, it still remains a recommendation. It's a great company. Uh, we are still very upbeat on that. Uh, in the nasty world of real estate sector, there are a few companies, you know, there are a handful of companies, five, six companies, which are worth looking at. And the, the company which is part of our stock advisor is a tiny real estate company. Uh, we think it is very attractively priced, but we still, and it's a great, it's a good company. It, is, it still has a lot of things going for it in an otherwise hostile environment. But uh, we, we think that uh, the outlook for the real estate sector in general is not that uh, bright. So despite it being attractive, despite being a good company, and so it remains as part of our recommendation. If you have bought this company, hold it. Yeah, I, you know, the best buy list is, you know, we were, we were, investors were demanding that we shouldn't be, we can't be buying those 40 stocks that you have, that you have recommended. Narrow the list for us. So if there's a new subscriber who comes, we tell him that get started with the best buy list. If you are an old investor and if you are looking at, you know, adding something in your portfolio, maybe the best buy list uh, uh, does that job as well. You, because you couldn't be adding 30, 40 stocks at one go. So it is just to, just a filtered set of most attractive companies from our recommended list. So you won't come across companies uh, which are beyond that list. Then comes, you know, the wealth insight issue. Oh, wealth insight is, you know, wealth insight is not a medium where we, whereby we recommend. Wealth insight gives you a lot of ideas, a lot of, uh, uh, it carries a lot of stories, a lot of analytical stories uh, based on facts. We don't, we are, you know, it is, and uh, there, there are certain things which we don't talk about in uh, wealth insight. We don't talk about uh, the speculative stock, the momentum stock, or the technical analysis, or the near term outlook of the, uh, uh, of the, you, we don't speculate about the market in Wealth Insight. What we are giving you in Wealth Insight is fundamentally guided stock ideas in general, thought-provoking coverage uh, articles for you to make up your mind. So many of our stories, you know, there you will come across cover stories that these are 18, gray, 18 such PSUs looks like uh, being at their rock bottom prices, but uh, they are not recommendation. They are general coverage. If you, if you find something attractive, dig into those companies more and buy those stocks by all means. But they are definitely not our recommendation. The reason why we launched our stock advisor service, because after we make a recommendation, it, it is our responsibility to tell you that uh, something significant happens to the company, which leads to a substantial drop in its prices or you know, a substantial rise in its prices. 
uh, in its price, uh, we, would, we would like to inform you. If there is an opportunity, uh, if we come across a situation that the company has, uh, you know, just lost its charm for something that has happened to the sector or something that, that, that we unearth about the management or the company, or the outlook becomes uh, very grim from the, uh, from the time when we recommended it, we thought something was going to happen, but it is not happening that way. Uh, so when things change, when facts change, we change our mind, and that is when we actually make a make a sell recommendations. A recommendation. So you you have come across, you know, a couple of uh, we have made a couple of sell recommendations, not at hefty profit. Some of them at profit, but primarily they are the sell recommendations are primarily governed by change in fa fundamental uh, complexion of that company. So uh, don't look at wealth insight as uh, as a recommendation. Look at wealth insight or ideas as a uh, as an as a stock idea for on which you can build further, know more, uh, build your belief, uh, discover as many things as possible, validate about the management, uh, understand the outlook of the sector. Wealth insight, I don't think it is complete in itself as a recommendation service. 